الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الفقه الفقه what is fiqh understanding of islamic rulings deep understanding of the islamic rulings right yes. islamic jurisprudence right yes it helps you to break down in detail the sharia right exactly a detailed understanding of the islamic rulings right yes this is the, the definition that I can give you for now. Okay, don't talk. Number one, this is fifty, and so we are talking about removing various impurities. And impurities are anajasas, right? Two of you cannot sit together. You have, you have joined this group. You have joined this group. I warned you, don't join this group. You are very good, first week, second week. You have joined this man. Eh? He's going to spoil you. I'm telling you. You see, you are smiling, laughing while I'm teaching, and you are, you are not focusing now. Halima, are we here? You, first this side. Sally, you are not even with me. You are not even pressing this side. Can you turn like this? Okay. Can you say al fiqh? Or fiqh? So, removing various impurities. Can we say that? Number one. The first one. The impurity of a dog, how is it removed? We say it should be washed seven times, including one time. I want you to give it one reading. Uh -huh. The impurity of a dog should be washed seven times, including one time. That is good, right? Yes. So, so keep that in mind because we live with dogs in our neighborhood, right? Yeah. Do you understand that? Impurity of a dog. Impurity of a dog should be removed or washed seven times, including one, one time. time with it with the soil. Earth, that. Number two, it is sufficient for the rest of the for the what? And Najasat, impurities. It is enough to remove them how? By doing what? So wash them three times until purified. What is the difference between A and B? There is a number. How many times you should you remove the najas of a dog, right? Yeah. But then, other najasat is to be washed at least three times. And if you feel that, if you see that it's not removed, it can go more yeah. until it is purified. Number three. If the impurity, Najasa, if the impurity is on the ground, how do we clean it? Then pouring over it will remove what? Its harm. And we gave hadith of what? A person who? Who peed in the masjid in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and how Rasul treated him with kindness and Rasul educated him, informed him. And subhanallah, this person is doing what? Okay, let us go. Became a Sahabi, mashallah. Okay, number four, we said that the Najasa of a male infant. A Najasa of? A male infant's urine that has not started eating what? Regular food, which means the child is still doing what? Bed breastfed, right? Yes. Or is still breastfeeding? Both English is okay. How do you remove that Najasa? Oh. How do you remove it? No, I'm teaching first. Wait. Did you understand that? By sprinkling water, right? Until it's wet, right? Okay. And then we said, what about the najasa, the urine of a female infant? How do you clear that najasa? How do you purify it? By washing, right? Keep that in mind, it's very important. We will cover how to purify, for example, if there is najasa under your shoe, how do you purify it? Do you understand that? Some people go to bathrooms without shoes in their socks almost half of you are doing that big ones and then you walk back bringing najasa from the bathroom in this masjid so then masjid has to stink and if you do that you have no wudu 
How do you have wudu? I'm wondering if you went to the bathroom and you relieved yourself, you peed or you know, and you had socks on you, how did you even perform wudu? If you okay, if you have wudu, already. then you're praying with najas on your clothes. You may have wudu, but you're praying with najas on your clothes. And the worst is that you bring najas inside the masjid, especially boys are doing that. And I've also seen girls doing that, especially little ones. Use your shoes, make sure that bathroom is, is, is clean as well. And also make sure that if you go to the bathroom and there are some drops of urine in your clothes, Wash it. Urine is to be washed. That falls under other najasat. Wash that affected work. Because if you ignore it, some people are walking in. They go, within three minutes they are here. No wudu. And then Salah comes and they pray. How do you pray? How do you lie to Allah in the, in the house of Allah? I think that is enough for today. Let us make door.